was it here that decided to hire the white guy to come talk to Native Americans about anger? <laughs> no, I'm real serious. Who was it that decided to hire a white guy to come talk to Native Americans about anger? When you're doing training with people, if you can make a connection through stories of things that have happened to you, things that have happened to them, please share, things that have happened with other people. Stories are a connecting point with all people. All you have to do is stand up in front of a group of people and say, I've got a story to tell you. All of a sudden, there's an ingrained everyone, I hope he's good at it. I've only got two chips. Jay's got a button there. And when you as trainers have the ability to be able to incrementally add to someone else's chips, that is a powerful, powerful thing that you can do to that person's self-esteem. How many people think that you can change someone else? Changing someone else is a good working definition of a first marriage. <laughs> After that, then you know. If you want some change, you change yourself. And everyone else and everything else in your life will follow along. The impact of 55% is on the visual. The way that person first sees you. All of that comes in and is an evaluator in a split second. Does anyone uh, remember the name Mary Lou Retton? Olympic gold. She got up on that stage and she had everything. She, she, she just, she talked maybe 45 minutes and everybody was into Mary Lou Retton. And Mary Lou Retton's famous for that one time in the Olympics, but when she was up on stage and she was talking, she had everyone. She had everyone attend to Everyone here knows that you're supposed to connect with people with the eyes. But what we usually do is we do it for one second and we think that we've made a connection. And it's not that way. Well, how you correct that so that that person feels like you're talking to them is the count of three per set of eyes, three seconds. And then that person feels like you're really attending to them as opposed to, I'm listening to you with one ear and I'm doing other things also. I'm processing information. When you connect with people, that person feels attended to. And it doesn't matter if you're in a crowd of thousands. Because when you look at one person, you'll continue to randomly pick other people and you'll connect with them. Everybody else at the corporation I worked at, they had neat classes like how to do windows and, and, and all these technical classes and their classrooms were filled with people just thirsting for knowledge. And mine were filled with people that were sent. My name is Darren Murphy, and I'd like to thank you for taking your valuable time to watch my video clip on high-definition living. What is high-definition living? It's a seminar company that I developed that highly defines the principles that consistently get the same results in communication, in anger conflict, in team building. What are some of the seminars that we offer? Better relationships through better communications. We've also added to that seminar, same day, Difficult situations, difficult people. Those two seminars combined give people very specific skills with an overall strategy that they can put into effect right away. Another seminar that we offer is Optimism, the Antidote to Negativity. It's politically correct and kind of chic to be cynical all the time, but it also detracts from work, from personal life. Optimism truly is an antidote that, with the specific skills in that seminar, people are able to leave and put things in place, put things in perspective. Training the Trainer is another seminar that we offer. This gives specific skills and strategies to the trainers in your organization that have to offer new information, new technology, and to sometimes people that are not real receptive to anything that's changed. TEAMS, another seminar. That's an acronym. Together, each of us achieves more success. In today's world, it's the self-directed work team that's going to make it. It's not the hierarchical management. They don't know all the problems that are in the 
specific area that the team is working on. It's self-directed work teams where people once again have the responsibility. You get a quicker solution, a quicker resolution to problems, better solutions in a much quicker time. Your seminar is going to be highly customized, and we do this through a questionnaire that we send you. And after we get it back, we look at it, and we, we take these principles that we've defined, and we apply it to the unique situations that's facing your company. Do some of these sound familiar? Employees that are just not team players. Employees that come through that front door with a minus sign across their forehead, cynical to the hilt. Employees that are easily offended. Employees that go out of their way to offend other employees. At High Definition Living Seminars, we have seminars that are designed for those specific problems with principles and specific skills and strategies in place that you can use immediately. The people that attend the seminars will have these that they can refer to. An overall game plan. With each seminar, we have the timeline system in place where if they choose to do it, it's guaranteed effective to put these skills and strategies in place by a certain amount of time. And by the way, I'm quite aware that the majority of people are sent to my seminar. They didn't go voluntarily. There's a wall there initially. I know how to break through that wall to get those principles with the skills and strategies so that at the end of the day, the people leave with knowing this seminar was done for them, not to them. Let me sum it up for you. I'm what you might call a user-friendly speaker. When you work with me, the learning curve is not too steep. I will work with you at your convenience. I'll listen to your needs. I'll assess the situation. I'll customize the seminar specifically for your employees. At the end of the day, when they leave, they will know what you want them to know, and they'll get it. My name is Darren Murphy, and I hope to hear from you soon at High Definition Living Seminars. habit patterns and we had something work one way and then we do it that way consistently and then when someone comes along that's kind of different we think of them as being what is wrong with that person what planet are you from whenever you do your modules whenever you're fixing them up have at least three positives be the person that saved people be the person that got your grandchild back breathing again out of the pool whatever three positives and three negatives. And when you're doing that, then you're going to be talking to the whole group, regardless of the thing that, they, that reinforces them to want to do, to practice, to learn. The worst thing that any human being wants is rejection. The best thing anybody wants is acceptance. And one of the first things that you can do to show someone that you are accepting them is to remember their name. 38% of the impact that you have on people is your voice, the auditory. And here's the kicker. We're rational beings. 7% is the content. So people look at you first, and then they listen to the quality of your voice, what you're saying, not so much, but how you're saying it. And then, then, 7% content. I once read from a fourth grader about Socrates. The fourth grader was writing an essay. Socrates was a speaker. He gave advice. They poisoned him. 